good morning children welcome to today's topic snakes in india What are the most dangerous animals on the Indian subcontinent? They are not lions, tigers, or wolves, but poisonous snakes. They attack far more frequently than most people suspect. Over 20,000 humans are bitten by venomous snakes in India each year. Unfortunately, the death rate from the snake bites is high. largely because of widespread ignorance about snakes and snake bite prevention also proper medical treatment is often delayed or unobtainable according to an estimate made by the world health organization about 15000 deaths from snake bites occur annually in india nearly half the world total of such deaths even for those who survive it is a dreadful experience usually resulting in days or weeks of agony take what happened to tengal kamal on a rainy evening in august 1981 kamal a 25 years old farmer living near gorgaon a suburb of mumbai was working barefoot in his fields when he suddenly felt a sharp sting on his right foot kamal examined his foot and saw two tiny marks near the ankle Convinced it was a snake bite, he hastily tied a rope just above his knee and called out to a relative working nearby, who immediately took him by taxi to a local doctor's dispensary. Unfortunately, the doctor was not a fully qualified allopathic practitioner and did not know about antivenin serum or how to administer it. He gave Kamal a pain-killing injection and antibiotic tablets. He told him to rest at home until the pain subsides. But during the next few hours, Kamal felt increasingly giddy and vomited continually. His right foot and lower leg swelled alarmingly and the pain was unbearable. Kamal's relatives rushed him to a large public hospital in central Mumbai. By then it was more than 5 hours since Kamal had been bitten and blood had begun to ooze from the snake bite marks. His gums were also bleeding and a soft thin tube put through Kamal's nose into his stomach revealed a large amount of blood. Fearing that it might already be too late, the doctor gave Kamal an injection of antivenin and began an emergency blood transfusion. Over the next 3 days Kamal was given 15 such transfusions as well as a repeat shot of antivenin. It was only after the 5th day that he was declared out of danger. After about a fortnight he was finally discharged from hospital. Only about 50 of the more than 200 species of snakes in India are venomous. Of these only four Russell Viper, Saw Scaled Viper, Indian Cobra and Common Crate are really dangerous. They are found across the country from desert to fertile plains while all the four are most common in rural India. Indian Cobra and Common Crates can be found in and around any human dwelling causing danger even in the suburbs of major cities like Mumbai, Kolkata and New Delhi. of the death dealing quartet the russell's viper is found from the paddy fields and river valleys of north india to the densely forested hills of tamil nadu kerala and karnataka in the south tan or brownish thick bodied and reaching a length of 1 meter it has long mobile fangs that inject a large amount of venom 
making it more dangerous than the Indian cobra. The Indian cobra are related of some killer snakes of Asia, Africa and Australia. It is readily recognized by the spectacle picture on the right and monocle picture on the left marks on its back. However, the black cobra has no distinguishing marks. About one and a half to two meters long, the cobra spends much of its time underground or beneath dead logs or stones, feeding mainly on frogs and rats. The cobra's bite is shallow and delivers a smaller dose of venom, but the venom three times as toxic as that of the Russell's viper. Even more toxic is the venom of the secretive and timid common crate, one to one and a half meters in length. It is found throughout India. The common crate is usually glistening bluish black with thin, often distinct white cross bands. Contrary to what many people believe, most snakes are timid nocturnal creatures, feeding mostly on rats, mice, frogs, torts, lizards or birds. They attack humans only when actually stepped upon or provoked in some way. Precautions such as wearing shoes and long trousers when walking through high grass undergrowth will lessen the risk of being bitten. For most snake bites in India occur as people walk barefoot. Carry a lantern or a torch when you venture out at night. Beat the ground ahead with a long stick as you walk. Snakes will perceive the vibrations and slid away. The snakes move around as long as they have rats to feed on. Hence, keep your home and its surroundings rat free. One should be alert during the monsoon season when snakes are most active. That is the end of this class. I hope you understood. Thank you.